Hey, this is Lorena, and I wanted to do doodle challenge number two. Number two, number two, number two, number two. Number two. All right, this doodle, well, what I'm doing is, somebody called it paisleys, I call it shells. I really do believe if you could do shells, you could do feathers. Because they're kind of like the same shape. Paisleys have more of an arc, which is more of a feather shape. But if you could do a shell, you can do a paisley, and if you could do a paisley, you could do a feather. That's what I'm doing this this doodle. So I wanted to do this doodle. Uh, it's starting, hopefully today. It's already on my Facebook group if you want to participate. Somebody already did, so I'm so excited. She already participated, and she already did it on her sewing machine. So the challenge is, if you're new to my channel, what you do is you do a doodle, and you post a picture on Lorena's Quilting Facebook group, and then you do that doodle either on your long arm quilting machine or on your sewing machine. So you have to do it on paper and then on one of the one of the machines somewhere, okay? Just either long arm or sewing machine. One of the two. That's all I want. I'm not asking for much. It's real easy. Doesn't take you more than 30 minutes. It takes five minutes to do the doodle. Take a picture. And then it takes you like a little bit to get your machine set up and then sew it. And then, you know, that that's, that's all I want. So, the reason I'm doing this is really for me. I'm sharing it with you. But the reason I'm doing this is because I suck on my sewing machine. I I suck bad. I'm real good on the long arm, but on my regular sewing machine. <laughs> you know, I see all of you out there. And I want to be a professional. I want to do a good job too. So I thought that I need to start practicing. I need to start investing in this skill. Okay. So in this doodle, we're doing shells. I already did a paper drawing on my Lorena's Quilting Facebook group, and I also did a picture of what it looks like on my sew machine. In this doodle, I'm also inter adding in, integrating, there's a word, integrating, doodle one into this doodle. Now, you don't have to do that, but the reason I'm doing it is because I still need a lot of practice on those pebbles because on my sewing machine, ugh, it's still a fugly. It's still ugly. And so I, you know, integrated into this challenge too. I hope you like this video. Uh, my doodles are okay, but my sewing, don't judge me. Don't judge me, people. They're bad. They need help. So uh, I guess you'll watch me on the doing. Bye. Okay, so here's the doodle. You do a loop another loop and another loop and then on the spine of the loop you do some more loops this is called a shell here i hesitate because i'm having to write in the opposite direction that i normally write with meaning when you and i write we usually write from left to right especially us americans and other languages i'm sure but in some cultures they write from right to left and we're, that's not natural for us but in quilting you're going to have to be able to move your pen both in left to right and right to left and you see me hesitate sometimes when I'm coming and moving my pen in the opposite direction now as you're building on this shell just create some variety you can also angle the center loop differently to make it kind of angle and fit the design that you're making Okay, so here I ended up making some bigger shells. And the reason I'm making them is because I wanted to put some pebbles inside my shells. So I'm trying to put both doodles together. This reinforces me practicing doodle one and adding it to doodle two. One of the great things about it, it gives a variety. It makes it look so unique and different. And it also just changes such a simple doodle into a like more stylish one so here i did another loop and then i did another shell and so you could do your other shells kind of higher on the shell that you started or wherever you want here i'm kind of hesitating because i'm trying to make decisions on where i want to put my pebbles i wanted to do the pebbles pretty big to go around and just do one set of pebbles but right that area was too big so i just decided to fill up this area with a whole bunch of beautiful pebbles to give it a unique look now here you see me messing up and i'm getting messy and when you're doing the doodle one of the rules is is you don't erase nothing you just keep going because when you're on your long arm you can't stop and erase but you know uh yeah, I just have to fix it. So here you see me doing those tiny little pebbles and then go along the stem and start making another set of shells. 
Okay, so here you see a collage of shells with pebbles. And as you see, just the simpleness of a shelf with randomness pebbles here and there make this look so magnificent. That's my new word, magnificent. It just kind of styles up the design. You can go in any angle, in any direction. It's random how you should doodle. Now here I wanted to show you, if you can do a shell, you can do kind of like a paisley. And so here you see that I dip in in this area and what this becomes is you're able to do a feather. In a minute, I'm gonna go ahead and doodle inside the center of this shell. And I'm gonna show you how this so simple doodle with the pebbles can become something so uniquely beautiful. So if you can do a shell, and then you can do a shell when you dip in as you come in, you can literally do feathers. I always start with this little weird stem, and this is what I call it, is follow the stem feather. Follow the stem, and then you dip in. You try to do a nice, beautiful rounded bubble there, and then dip in when you're coming into the stem of the shell. And this is what my feathering looks like. The more you go in right here in this area, the more lovely the feather will look. If you make it wonky or wide or weird, it just doesn't look right. So try to get a nice rounded position like that and dip in just like that. Now there's different ways of making feathers. Um, I like doing following the stem feather and I recall this repeating the arc feather, meaning you start in a random area and then repeat right there in the arc and then come in. I usually kind of change it up and try both just because repeating the arc feather, you can angle differently for some reason and it looks a lot more plumpier feather, I guess. Now, I know this feather doesn't look great. You probably see a lot of mistakes, especially if you yourself are doing them, but nothing like echoing all around that little tiny shell feather pebbled design that makes it look so pretty. So even if you make mistakes, don't erase, don't erase. And I believe that when you arc around a design, it kind of sets it apart and it makes it really unique. Now, I always go around a design. For some reason, it just finishes it up. And this is what it looks like. All kind of a little collage of shell pebble feathers. Now here I'm on my sewing machine. I do have my gloves on. I am using a chalk pencil to chalk on a piece of fabric and have some guidelines, not necessarily going to follow them, but at least when I start, I use them. I also have my contact paper that I use instead of the Supreme Glider. I like it a lot better, but don't tell nobody. And here you see that I'm going to go ahead and start making a shell. You know how I was talking about you go one way, go and then go back the opposite way. So you have to learn how to move a piece of fabric in going right to the left and left to the right. And this is my quilting. It is not the best. I am not good at it, but I'm trying. And here you see that I'm just using random um, going back and forth. I've noticed like in this area, I had to widen my, my movement. Also notice my hands, I am kind of in a triangle position. My thumb is almost at a 45 degree, trying to be at a 90 degree angle, but it's not. And you see me just practicing. It doesn't have to be perfect, people. It has to just have some effort. And this is what it looks like. I also did some shells with pebbles, but my camera, for some reason, it was blurry, so I couldn't show the video, but I'll show you pictures. So, I really do hope you like this challenge. I, I, I'm honestly just doing it because I'm forcing myself to practice. Because I, I don't like doing something I'm not good at. But I can't get good at something if I don't do it. So, yeah. And I'm not no Leah Day. I don't know how she does it. So, all right. Come in. Suffer with me. <laughs> Don't suffer. Come and 
challenge yourself with me. Okay? So I, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you trying it. <laughs> yes, man. It didn't come out that good. Look, look. It didn't come out that You want to see how bad my stitches is? Some are bigger, some are smaller. I'm trying, people. I'm trying. <laughs>